Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am your reader, Anetta, and collective, we are going to tap into this energy of this eclipse and see what messages spirit has to say. Let's see what, okay, I heard you. Um, we're going to see what is the um, overall energy after this eclipse. What did this eclipse do to the collective's energy or for the collective's energy, okay? Just to be nosy and see what's going on, okay? All right, collective, please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless. All right, hold on to me. Clear the space real quick. Um, I, I hope you guys had a beautiful, awesome day. As for me, I had a long day, so this is the end of it. Um, so I'm going to do these videos um, and post them in the morning, so check them out. I'm glad you're checking them out. Excuse me. I'm tired. But we're going to push through. All right. <sighs> they start playing. It's over now. Mm -mm. Ooh, it's over now. Daughter Romance is here. Oh. Angel of Balance. So something is over. It could be a conflict. It could be a relationship. It could be a person, a mindset. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But doggone. Feels like somebody happy that it's over now. Got clipped out. I don't know. We're going to see what that's about. Let's jump into prayer. Ugh. What was that? <laughs> I don't know, but let's jump into prayer. That that child, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the Twitter tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and light. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. Bottom of the deck, door to romance. So somebody, Archangel Michael, is guarding this door to romance. Got that heart locked up because there's some hostile energies. Look at this. We have daughter romance. We have Archangel Michael paying attention to this daughter romance that your heart is locked up for safety because you just give love all over the place. Okay, so you're being protected from this hostile energy that want to come in towards you collective because you're so loving, so nurturing, so caring, so kind. Archangel Michael has to step in between this. That's what's over now. This angry, bitter, combative energy. Somebody is focused in to either fight for you or fight with you. It's making me feel like fight with you. Because they got eclipsed. <laughs> it's over now. You could have broke up with this person. I don't know. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy for the collective during this eclipse? Oh, that's a lot. Archangel Michael came right on out, but I'm going to put those back because we just need one. But they came out in chunks. I don't, I don't, mm, we already know. He's here to protect and battle on your behalf, collective. Yes. Why? Because you are the door to romance. You are the door to love. And they have to put you in that pretty little birdcage. And watch over you because you spread your love all over the world. I will say this. Certain people in your life is not privy to experience your type of love because they wouldn't know what to do with it. They, do, they would not know how to handle it, how to receive it, how to care and nurture for it, how to um, reciprocate it. Okay? Let's go. Overall energy. Healer of the ages. Mm. Mm, mm. It's over now. You healing or have healed from lifetimes of hurt, depression, regret, disappointment when it comes to love. Bottom of the deck, door to spirit is open now. 
Because see, Archangel Michael and your ancestors and your spirit team, oh, they got that heart on lock, baby. Oh, it's highly protected. Because why? You're healing. We never stop healing. It's just different levels and reasons of healing that we have to do. So, you know, um, but it feels like you closed out a major cycle in your life, something that you probably kept repeating over and over again, like learning a karmic lesson. Okay, healing from karmic um, issues or people, something like that. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about healer of the ages? Ah, you had help. Be careful what you wish for. Let's put one more on that. What? Clarify that, Holy Spirit. Ah, you have the power to create the life you love. Remember that. Ah, be careful what you wish for because you, you're, you're in high manifestation power now. Why? Because you're healing. So, um, no is a definite answer. No, excuse me. No is, no, I don't know why. I mean, I'm going to blame it on Mercury retrograde, but it's, I mean, you know, my eyes to mind issues is coming up <laughs> because it says no definitive answer can be given at this time. Just be careful what you wish for. You have the power to create the life you love. Remember that. So, and this is why that heart is locked up, baby. It's, it's making me feel like um, collective. This, this is for some of you guys, not all, but um, you could have made some wrong choices in life that um, could have cost you a lot. And you kept making that same choice over and over and over again. It could be a lifestyle, a mindset, a person. And it's because you love it. You love doing it. You love that person. You love being this, thinking like this, something like that. And it was time to change, baby. It was time to heal. It's almost like you got stuck in the energy of just enough. It's like you ascended. And so that just enough became not enough. I hope you get what I'm, I'm giving because that's what it's, that's what it's saying here. Yeah, there's <laughs> no no definitive answer could be given at this time right now. This time right now because it's not for you. You need to give it time. So something is not for you right now. You need to give it time. So no answer could be given right now. But be careful what you wish for because you do have the power to create anything that you love. So honey, boom! If you're wishing for this person that they done cleared out your life. You wishing, hoping, and praying that they'll have them back. Careful what you ask for. You might just be granted that wish. Why? Because you still ain't learned that lesson. So careful, collective, okay? All right. So, Holy Spirit, uh, what message do you have for the collective regarding the energies moving forward from this eclipse? Mm. Oh, okay. I heard you. What did this eclipse do for the collective? Yeah. What did this energy, because it's so powerful. It's so powerful. What did it do? Divine abundance. Oh, yeah. It cleared the way. It cleared the energy. It cleared the space for you to receive divine abundance. Abundance of gifts. Abundance of love. Abundance of healing. Ab oh, yeah. Some of you guys are discovering that you are a healer. You have the power. Be careful what you do to that power. Or with that, that, with that power. Ah! <laughs> That's all I can say is ah! <laughs> Let's go. And it says, um, you were born to align with love's will. Follow the tail and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant, not chase it. This is what you have the power to do because you heal, collective. Okay? But with great gifts, great abundance, it comes great responsibilities. So make sure that you can handle whatever it is that you're creating or asking God for in your life. 
Make sure you know how to handle it. At the bottom of the deck, we have courage. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys have gained the courage to step out on faith. Yep, right action. I can't make this up. Yeah, some of you guys have created the courage or gained the courage to step out on faith. It says, let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. Okay, so yeah, you're being divinely guided to do the things that you need to do in order to create the life that you want to live. So it's making me feel like, you know, old strongholds, soul ties, you know, just that gooky shit in your energies. It, it's like, uh-uh, it had to go. It, it is removed or it will be. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about this divine abundance? Mm, let's get these. Um, okay, let's go. Okay, so when I picked up the deck, we have the five of wands. Five of wands energies is fighting, competition, conflict, gossiping, too many people in your business, too many people talking. Um, but we have the five of wands and behind it is the seven of wands. So you're being defended or how should I say you're being um, protected or you're defending yourself. And this is why that heart was locked up in that cage because you're like, mm -mm, this is my time to heal. This is my time to start loving on myself. This is my time to put away and lay aside anything that can't come with me on this next level, this next journey that I am, I am embarking on. I changed. Wow. You are being divinely protected. Uh-huh. Oh, then we have the five of pentacles behind that. So we have five, five here. So things are changing. And you're being protected from this change. Yeah. Uh-huh. For others, you're protecting yourself because you have to change. And we've seen that hostile energy behind Archangel Michael. That's why I say you're being highly protected because of this change that you're doing or this change that you have created. Okay. These people could be family members. It could be exes, old lovers. It could be coworkers. It could be anybody that is hostile towards you because you're not giving your loving energies to them no more. They've been cut off. They've been eclipsed. Thank you for the confirmation. Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about this divine abundance? They can't, they can't partake in this energy here, this gift, these blessings that are coming to you. You have the courage to change. You have the courage to heal. These people didn't. They still karmic. They still low vibing. Shit, they still in that old mucky ass energy that you cleared yourself from. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about the divine abundance? I like that. What's going on? Empress. Damn. Collective. So I'm talking to the divine feminines that's high vibing. Healer of the ages. It could have took ages for you to heal and grow into this empress energy. That's what I'm saying. But baby, you here now. And look at you. Loving, nurturing, caring, kind. Okay? Look at all these animals that could sit up under your apple tree. Some of you guys could be pregnant or just had a baby. That's confirmation. Congratulations. Mm-hmm, Taurus energy. Some of you guys could have three kids. Some of you guys could live on a farm, live near a farm. Mm. Everybody's on high alert. Very protective. Very protective energy. Protecting self, protecting your inner child, protecting your children. Cherishing. Yeah. Very affectionate energy. Mm, I love it. Divine abundance with the empress. And the empress is already abundant. But it's coming from the divine, baby. It's a gift. You have the power now to create. You have the power now to nurture. You have the power now to heal. Some of you guys are healers. Natural healers. You're discovering that gift. As you look at this video. This is for some of you guys, not all. You will... Have courage in that fact, in that uh, uh, recognition of who you are to the Most High God. I'm hearing some of you guys could be foster parents or you could be thinking about 
becoming a foster parent or adopting the child. Oh, that's so commendable. Yeah. Or you have done that? Oh, that's beautiful. What can you tell me? The lovers? Gemini energy? What can you tell me about this lover's energy? Ace of Pentacles? Five of Cups. Ten of Swords. Okay. There's new love coming in. Or this could be that old person that's hostile because you turned your back and started healing on yourself and Archangel Michael had to step in between y'all two. This lover's energy. What can you tell me about this lover's energy? Fell up under curse. So somebody is trying to have a curse to... I heard a step to you? Yeah. It's coming in. Chariot energy. We have King of Wands and the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. So these could be two people coming towards you. Or this is your person coming in as the King of Swords because they view it, view you as the king, Queen of Wands. I don't know why I can't talk, so please excuse me, okay? Um, it's... It's almost like this message don't want to come out. <laughs> Crazy. Hmm. You know. You know this person is coming in. For some, <clears throat> excuse me, that's for some of you. For others, this is your past person coming back in, rushing in because they made a head over heart decision. That you are that queen bee. That you are that beautiful. Mm. Yeah, because you're you're exuding emperor's energy. So they're highly attracted to you. Very, very fabulous here. Mm. Oh, yeah. But you're not having it. You are not having it, collective. This is what I'm getting. Honey, boom. What can you tell me about this queen of wands? Do you hear that? Bring the car closer. I don't know about this Queen of Wands energy. What can you tell me about this Queen of Wands energy? Let me see. It's giving me ranky energy off of there. We have the Hierophant. Tor heavy Taurus out here in the strength. And the Fool. Very traditional, very strong here. Hmm. Hold on. Because this, the hair thing came out when I was asking about this Queen of Wands. Why? Why did the hair thing come out? That's just like Archangel Michael kept coming out in the pre-show. Healer of the Ages is here. We can, well, why did the hurricane come out with this Queen of Wands energy? Six of Cups. This could be somebody from your childhood, somebody from a past. This could be a past soulmate. Not a sword. Six of Swords. What can you tell me about this Six of Cups? Hold on. Does this? I don't like this. And then King of Swords is also too representative of Archangel Michael's energy. And it came right on out with this uh, Queen of Wands here. And then the Harrison come out. Thank you for the confirmation. What's up with this? What can you tell me about this Queen of Wands energy? I'm just feeling like a karmic energy that want to come towards you because of a love situation or a lover. This lover could have moved away from this karmic, broke up with them. And now they want to come and see you. Talk to you is what I'm getting. What, what can you tell me about this Queen of Wands, Holy Spirit? Uh, the Magician. Ace of Swords. They want to come and, and, and talk the truth. Manifesting an, uh, uh, um, some type of truthful communication here or manifesting a new beginning or something like that. What's the intentions? Let me get another deck. Cause cause this it still don't feel it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I want to say this is how your person looked at you, but you already came out here as the Empress. Now they could look at you as the Queen of Wands, you know, just so 
fabulous and, and fast and fascinated with you, but now with this quick this king of swords coming out with this king. This queen of wands. I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. Let's just go on and get it. Okay, these ones. All right. We have the Knight of Pentacles when I picked up the deck. So something is moving in slow. Somebody is stuck. They want to come rushing in, but they're stuck. They're still holding on to you. You are the star. Okay. Well, let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the intentions of this Queen of Wands energy? And then I, I think we can move from that, but I, I, I really need to see that. Okay. Outside of that, it's just like she bothered me. This energy bothers me. Let me tell me. Let's pop it out. Thank you. We have the strength energy. And the ace of wands. And then we have the king of wands. I heard, what did you do? So with courage out here and the strength energy, ace of wands, it's almost feeling like It's almost feeling like this Queen of Wands got a crush on this Empress. It could be male or female, but they're coming out as a Queen of Wands energy. Somebody who is confident and conceited is what I heard. Not saying that the Queen of Wands energy, you know, that's not always representative of the Queen of Wands energy, but it, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah. It's like this one right here. I don't trust this. Confident and conceited. Okay. But they want to they want to have a uh they want to have a, a passionate new beginning with you, or they want to start something new, or they wanna or this could be somebody about this queen of one. I don't know. Ooh. But okay, well, why did the uh, king of swords come out? No, that's way too many because of the fucking queen of wands. Confident, conceited. This is this this is feeling like Archangel Michael had to rush in. Because okay, it could be up to two karmic females here. I'm, I'm just gonna call a spade a spade. That's what the fuck it is. A source out here. Okay. Um, but this is also to somebody that is just really, really conceited, really, really arrogant, effeminate energy. And, and honestly, it could be um your mask man operating in this energy energy too. Being all hostile and shit, okay? Or this could be your mask man operating in this energy and they have a karmic energy, a karmic feminine energy around them. That's why the King of Swords came out here with the hair fin. This, this ain't nothing but Abba and Michael hitting the board. That's what I'm saying with this chariot energy and the Ace of Swords. And look, the King of Wands at the bottom with the Six of Cups. What can you tell me about this King of Swords then? Mm, now it's starting to feel like obsession. Your, your person could be operating in feminine energy, um, <clears throat> obsessing over you. It doesn't feel like you guys are together now. What can you tell me about this King of Swords? The Queen of Swords? We got two matches out here with the hair fan. Okay. Six of wands. Six of swords. Oh, my goodness. Four of swords. Five of cups. Child. This is your, this is your person. Divine feminine. This is your masculine. Obsessed and manifesting you back. Yeah, they want yeah, want this passionate new beginning with you trying to find the strength of courage to do so. Yeah. Divine abundance of courage. Okay. Hmm. We got three three queens out here with the Empress. Now, I normally when I see the other queens hit the table after the Empress hit the table, that's the Empress embodying these energies. And this could be you. But that's not what I'm feeling. Mm -mm. Not with courage, strength and courage out here. 
And then we have um, Abba out here with the Magician. It's, I don't know. It's, it's just not feeling. I'm, it's, it's not feeling right at all. What is the intentions of this King of Swords energy? What is the intentions of this King of Swords energy? It will be some truth coming out. Y'all will conversate about something. This is how you want to hear. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. About a Ten of Swords situation. The Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups. Uh-huh. About some betrayal. Some betrayal of either having you collective as an option or having too many options. Yeah. You could have been married or living together. Four of Wands here. Twin Flame energy is hot out here. That's why I was out here with the magician. So, okay, so what is Abba doing? You trying to you trying to orchestrate something? Ah, Knight of Cups. This is union here. Knight of Cups, but you're still walking away. Eight of Cups. You're going to reject your masculine. Four of Cups. Are your masculine feel rejected when they come towards you? Empress, oh shit! It was just too much, and you're very defensive against this masculine because of a tower moment. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you this: your masculine is so hurt and pissed. Thank you for that confirmation. If you heard it, so hurt and pissed. They don't even know what to do with themselves. It's almost like they mad at themselves more so than you. I heard some of them mad at God. Child. Because collective, you came up out here on this board twice. Divine Feminine, you out here twice. Where, where the masculine at? All I got out here as a masculine energy is the king of swords. Now he's he's overthinking your person. Male or female, take the message as it resonates. Now they're overthinking. Strategizing is what I heard. Yeah, they, 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 they strategizing the plan to come in with this love offer. Thank you for the confirmation, Eight of Cups. I mean, Nine of Cups, excuse me, because you Eight of Cups that ass and you rejected them and became a um, Divine Feminine. You always was a Divine Feminine, but you know, you just elevated. You, you Higher ranking is what I'm hearing. Okay, you operated. Um, yeah, you, you operated in your um, Divine Feminine energy at a higher ranking after you left or your person left. It's like you blew up. You was always there. It's almost like you was in the Nine of Pentacles energy. You know, you could take care of yourself, living comfortable, and beautiful, didn't have a care in the world until your masculine did some old dumb ass shit and caused the tower moment. And you, you shit, you couldn't do, yeah, some type of old backstabbing betrayal ass shit that your person done to make you turn your back and walk away from them. And it caused that tower moment here. I put it back in the deck, but y'all seen it. Rewind the video if you need to see it again. But when that happened, that's when you started to operate fully in your divine feminine energy because you had to. You refused to be bitter. You refused to chase. You refused to argue. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Oh, I just seen that. I'm so ill. Hey, I, I did it already. But uh, uh, it's the... It's this shit here. My favorite lip gloss. But when I put too much on, it do that. So, excuse me. So, yeah. And then after you did that, you embodied all four queens. And if you if you're dealing with your your masculine or your masculine come back come back around to try to 
reconcile and work things out with you, you will be in this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords energy. I heard cuss them out beautifully. <laughs> Don't cuss them out. But that's what I heard. You know, that's what it that's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. You know, like you're gonna tell the truth, but you're gonna do it great. <laughs> she's a, she's a little spicy. Colorfully. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, gracefully because the, the, the Empress is out here, but that's not the word that I was looking for. I was looking for um um uh, uh more of a spicy, you know. Uh, uh, hot tamale, you know, you, you can, you can, you can lay down the law and look good doing it. These counterparts are showing up in two different decks, which further lets me know that you and your masculine is not on the same page. Y'all love language is off because y'all coming out in two different decks, but he's only coming out as a king of swords so this your divine masculine could be mean hostile as we've seen you know he, he really, the king of swords energy is a cold energy but it's a highly calculated energy he's not dumb very wise with that owl i don't like that sword down especially with the ace of swords down the truth about a lie. Every time I see this card, it's a truth about a lie that's going to come out. It's almost making me feel like this masculine here is going to try to outwit, outsmart you. Twisting lies. Colorful lies is what I'm getting. Um, thinking about a way not to make it look as though they did lie. Hmm, because they want you back by any means necessary. Okay, so if, if the if the if the collector's person wants them back so bad because you're so beautiful, so fine, they want to get back in your good graces so they could be nurtured and healed and, and, and cared for you or cared for and loved by you. Um Holy Spirit. I want to find out, I want to know. What is the collective person's intention if they get the collective, if they could get back in the collective's good graces? Intention to manifest fucking heartbreak. And what is that? Seven of cups? Causing illusions? We'll see. But that's what that's what I seen when I picked up the deck. What is the collective person, this divine masculine? What is their intentions if they were to ever? Get back in the good graces of Divine Feminine. What are their intentions? How can you mend this broken man? Okay. Hey. Somebody's name could be Al, last name Green. Huh. Okay. Four cups. Nine of cups, five of wands, ten of cups. What they what is this four of cups? This, what is what is the intentions? What is the intentions of the divine mask men if they were to ever get back in the good graces of divine feminine? <sighs> what they were they want to intend to ghost you like you did them. King of Pentacles. Okay. Let's get let's get a couple more with the intentions. Hold on, let me see. <sighs> Yeah, it, it, this energy it, it feels so fucking like it, it feels phony it feels like it's disguised like the intentions are hidden okay mm -hmm. okay so we have the knight of wands ten of swords three of wands bottom of the deck we have the King of Wands in the world with the chariot. This motherfucker here want to do and make you feel exactly how you made them feel, felt when you did what you did when you ate a cup of that ass. 
This is why Archangel Michael had to come in between you two and that hostile ass energy. Shit. This is how come I've been Michael out here again. Protecting you while you're healing. Yeah, you walking through that door of spirit because you have the strength. The strength and the courage to do so. <sighs> it took you a while to... Damn. It took you a while to make that decision, but I will say this. Here we go with that deceit, indecision, anxiety. This your person. This is also to you, Collective. You didn't know which way to go after you found out that your person deceived you. It brought on a whole bunch of anxiety. Look at you thinking. Like, what the fuck? How did I miss this? What the fuck? What? How did I not see this? While your person over here like, mm -hmm, <laughs> yeah, thinking they got away with the shit. Okay, they actually like seeing you in this energy. That's what it feels like. It feels like your person, your divine masculine, not so divine masculine, that motherfucker ain't divine trying to do this shit. Because you, you walked away? Because they, they, they tend to source you? So you brought it to an end and it was painful. You brought this connection to an end and it was painful. And you started healing. Not only from this lifetime, but all lifetimes. Shit. Not from just not just from this relationship, all relationships. That's why you're coming out as the divine feminine twice. High rank in here. Ooh. You high ranking in the spiritual realms, collect. And the most high be damned. So, yeah, it's, it's like, how, how petty can you be? So, collective, your person want to get back in your good graces, get back on good terms, you know, probably even get back in your heart. Only for them to turn around and do the things that they feel they need to do to make you feel exactly how they felt when you left. Petty and immature motherfucker. This is why you're not shit you gone. You're not going back. This cycle is over anyway, and they still going to try to make a move. This chapter, this relationship is being closed out by Abba. And they still, King of Wands, want to make a move towards you. Because now they're feeling this Ten of Swords energy because you turned your back, you ate a cup's that ass, okay? Yeah, they're preparing for a way how to get back into your good graces or get back into your energies here, three of wands. Mm -hmm. And they will wait to see how they could come forward. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what? how does the collective feel about their past person? How does the collective feel about their past person, this divine masculine? How does the collective feel about... Thank you. We have the Hierophant. Come flying out. Judgment. Ooh. Nine of wands. You've been through a lot. Baby, um, you left it you left it to the most high. That's how you feel about it. Strength and the will of fortune. Yeah. Because you gone. You gone. Shit. You, you already found your resolution within self. You already healed. You're moving on to common water. So you left it in God's hands. That's how you feel. It ain't shit you, I heard you ain't shit you could do about it. You want to come back and apologize and want to get back in my good graces? It's not my call. And I don't even want them. Wow. Yeah, with the hair fin and judgment, your person also too could be sitting under divine judgment because of the things that they've done against you. Collective, putting you in this nine of wands energy, Okay. But you are determined to heal. You're determined to move forward. Some of you guys are um, moving from, well, you're determined to heal and move forward from the past. And you call judgment on this because you look at, baby, you, you ain't with this fuck shit. Now the hair fin is out here twice from two different decks. You see how the energies are repeating? It's, it's really making me feel like um, it's. It, Never ever again. Ten of Swords out here twice. Never ever again in this lifetime or the next to come. 
Will you ever have to go through the hurt, the heartbreak and the pain that you had to go through fucking with your divine masculine? Healer of the ages. Oh, yeah. Baby, you, you open, you open yourself up to the most high God and you receive those healing energies. Some of you guys could do Reiki or you're, you're thinking about it. That's what I'm getting. getting. You had to heal your heart and your crown chakra. Yeah. And when you did that, booyah, open the door to spirit. Strength out here twice. It's almost like this is a repeat of another lifetime. I want to say, is it serendipity going on here? Parallel universes. This is a hell of a, um, uh, uh, okay. It's almost like two major lifetimes is playing out at the same time, or y'all did the same exact thing in another lifetime. Or this is playing out now in, a, in another dimension or another parallel universe, and you got access to it, Divine Feminine. You could probably astral travel to another dimension or parallel universe. Or this is what you're getting ready to do, Door to Spirit. Being prepared for that. You have ranking. Collective. Oh, I'm talking to my high vibes. Yeah. Um, and this karmic always come in and your person always fuck up this connection with you choosing this motherfucker here. That's why I said this. I didn't like this energy. It's like, why? Why did it bother me so? Because they always come in and destroy the connection. Seduce your, seduce your masculine. Come in between you and your masculine and y'all never get to the, to the destined place and space and love and life that y'all are created and ordained to get to. So the most high God is saying, fuck it. Your masculine never learn. And you grow so much, you ain't got to deal with this no more. Every time you get your heart split open and stomped on and kicked in the gutter you still love and you love more you love on yourself more you're open to love more you learn your lessons that you needed to learn and operate in those lessons more now you're a teacher you've been taught by the teacher and now you're a teacher on how to heal if you're not there now, keep living, keep healing, keep ascending. It will happen naturally. Strength, energy, will of fortune. Because you, you found the courage. You gained the strength to tame that beast within, within self with love. Care, kindness, and gentleness. You didn't clap back. Like I said, it wanted to run away from you. You let it. You didn't chase it. Mm -mm. You didn't. You didn't beg for it to come back. No. You you you, you took it on the chin. Uh, and I hope y'all didn't have to do that literally. I, I I just seen that. Um. Oh God. Um. With this ten of swords energy, with this ten of swords and this um. King of swords energy. Some of you guys, that it was abusive. Um. But you 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 dug you dug deep within self to heal. That is being rewarded with healing from everything and everybody who ever did it. New opportunities. Shit, some of you guys get an opportunity to travel the world. Uh, I'm hearing with the Ace of Swords and the World Energy. Some of you guys could be on the internet. You can have a platform. Um, and I know a lot of readers are saying that right now, but the energy is here. I'm just saying, you know, you do something to give happiness or healing to the world. Um, but this right here, the Ace of Swords and the World Energy, that do give me um, social media. 
energy here and coming out as the empress yeah you do have a social media platform or you get a lot of attention on social media something like that um or this is what you're gearing up to do and when you do you're gonna blow the fuck up because you have something to give which is love and healing lessons in it okay each one teach one mm. you have the power to do so You've been gifted that. The power to do anything that you want to do to live the life you want. Just be careful of what you wish for. Let your intentions and your decisions and your actions be pure and on the right side of God's righteousness. Your, your intentions, your actions... Your reactions, your thoughts, make sure they're on the right side of God's righteousness when you do these things. First, you're going to have to intentionally remember and go and filter your, your, your feelings and emotions through the eyes of God's righteousness, and then it will become natural. Okay? It is, it, that's, that's a part of the work. Okay? So, um, yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is a hell of an awakening collective. Okay, so um, I do want to see um, what is coming in for the collective now that we have all of this newness here. What is coming in for the collective, Holy Spirit? Damn, I picked up the deck. Dreams coming true. It's in the palm of your hands. Oh, coming together. Manifesting. <sighs> Succeeding belief. Come on. Damn. Whatever you like. And you know that. That energy. That energy has been floating around a lot. Because we are in the karmic year. Okay. So just like I've been talking about how these people that didn't do right by love getting all of their karma. Baby, this is you getting your dharma. So divine feminine, you're getting your karma. Your divine masculine is getting. No, um, you're getting your dharma. Excuse me. Divine feminine, you're getting your dharma. Your divine masculine is getting their karma. And here go love again because of this love story. Dreams coming true with the lovers here. You could be having new love. Let's see. But let's look at that. What's up under that? You can have new love. Yep. Seek the truth. Release death and move. Uh-huh. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, you have new love coming in. With this love and seek the truth. Yeah. Because you had to release love. In order to seek the truth about love. Some of you guys could get pregnant with twins. I told you you might be pregnant. So, Or you might be pregnant twice by this new love. That's coming in. Yeah, you have to release it and move because you listen to your intuition. This is how come your dreams are coming true. And this is how come you're coming together with your new masculine. I'm here for some of you guys. This was this was a um, catalyst ma masculine. Um, or, you, or this is your masculine. It, it was a divine masculine. Some of you guys could be meeting your twin. You have to ascend to meet your twin. I mean, that's just the way it is. To, in, in this energy. But I better come out twice. So that means that you and your new person could be aligning. Now, if you know you was dealing with your twin, then you have a um, replacement for that twin, which is your divine counterpart. Your kingdom husband. And y'all will grow in love and y'all will infused like that oh yes we're talking about god he could do whatever he want he could separate and cut twins away oh yes he can you can't do it but he can oh yeah he could cut away he do it all i want to say all the time but it, it has been done and i will say this everybody it's it, you know that 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 term twin flame get it get thrown around so much now to where it's like it's cliche you know everybody got a twin okay shit all the readers on youtube got a twin and it's only supposed to be 144,000 of us and it's 8 billion people in the world you know you get what i'm saying so um i will say this 
being a twin flame is not glamorous. Mm -mm. It's not, it's not glamorous. No, it takes work through pain. Work on yourself, work on your, your relationship with other people, work on your relationship with love, work on your relationship with your most, with the most high God, everything. Yeah. It's almost like a twin constantly, it, it feels like a twin is constantly in a, a dark night of the soul. Yeah, yeah, a dark night of the soul because you know who you work for, but at the same time, we are in this flesh. So the Most High is going to always reveal to you things that you need to work on and heal. And nobody is never completely healed and whole. There's only one man that was completely healed and whole. And he's the one that's healing all of the hurt and pain from the ages. Give it to God. That tower moment to show. Yep, yep, yep. Um, that's a message that just popped up on my. I was reading, excuse me. Oh, this is what I was, wanted to say too about a twin flame. Twin flames. Their main mission. They left here after the rapture. That 144,000, they not left here because they didn't, they didn't do right by God. No, they left here because they worked for God. They're going to be down here battling the bullshit. The tribulation. Because you're still going to be doing God's work. Still spreading that word. Still spreading that love. Still spreading that high vibrant energy. In the midst of chaos. So, like I said, being a twin is not glamorous. It's only going to get worse. So, you coming together with your twin age, that's, that's the last thing that you need to be worried about and concerned about. You got bigger fish to fry. Bigger fish to fry than coming into union with your twin. Now, I will say this. That is that is that is a beautiful beautiful um uh uh thing to experience when you do. But baby, that's not the whole this that's not the mission in life. Y'all come together cuz y'all both high bottom. Ha! Huh? Y'all y'all both at the apex and y'all y'all drawn together to do the work for the most high God through love. That's how come when y'all come together in love, it's so powerful. It's world changing. It could bring death and destruction or love and abundance. You have the power collector. Be careful what you wish for. The collective, I'm, the collective I'm picking up on, y'all high ranking. Yeah, you're high ranking. You're being unveiled for your mission because it's it's intensifying. It's it's like it it enhanced. Okay, it's like five star five star generals around here. I'd be glad when Mercury retrograde is gone. Me, I'm sensitive. It get worse because I channel. I just use the cards to confirm what the fuck I'm saying. But, you know, I like to look at their stories too, so. But, um, yeah, so, and it's, it's coming through. And here we have, look, the lovers out here twice. Again, double, it's, it's double, 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 double. You're being prepared for union. I will say this. When you when you come into union with your twin or with your person, excuse me. Um, okay, I must be talking to some twins in here, okay? Oh uh, yeah, I have to be. Yeah. Um when you come into union with your person, Yeah, it's 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 not going to be romantic. 
It's not going to be like love at first sight. No. Y'all going to work together. Y'all going to either do the same thing, have the same mindset, have the same ideas, be put together to create something like that. And then it's, it's, it's going to unfold naturally the love. Y'all going to recognize and realize y'all have the same love language. Y'all on the same love level. Y'all have all these things in common. And then it's just going to click, 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 click like that. And then you'll recognize each other. That's what most of you guys. I don't put nothing past people who say they already met their twins. Some of you guys have. A lot of you know. That was a false twin or a catalyst twin. And I will say, there are twins that turn karmic. They fall from grace. There are divine masculines or feminines that turn karmic and they fall from grace. Once they fall from grace and your energy of love or in the energies of um, being in a, a union with you, you will not get that one back. Mm -mm. until they ascend and then y'all gonna work together if you hey, if you open the love again y'all might can do it again but uh, uh once they fall from grace and, and let me tell you when you fall from grace it's a long journey back to that that status it might take a few lifetimes if you so lucky so you know once once they fall from grace hey be careful what you wish for. Because you do have the power to manifest that person back. They going to be worse than what the fuck they was. Why? Because they ain't learned the lesson yet. So. Some of you guys, you want your person back because you, you have love, lovers out here twice. And yeah, you do, you know, but um, you're so powerful. You will manifest your person back in the state that they, in the worst state that they have left in. Because now that they know that they can get you back, they're going to do shit double what they've done. That's why all these doubles out here. Some of you guys have already did this shit. And now you have to be rescued again from your person. It could have been twice in this lifetime or two lifetimes ago or something like that. All of this happened two, you know, um, two times in your lifetimes, something like that. Okay, so let me let me go ahead and just wrap this up. I want to get um, some advice. Let's see, what advice can we get? Mm, 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 mm. Hold on, y'all. Look at Boa. Hmm. I don't see them. So. Hmm. We'll use these. I, look, I just made these the other day. I haven't even bust them out yet, but I will now. Yeah, they want to talk. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what advice do you have? I haven't named this yet. Um, I don't think I am. It, it's just something for me. Um, but um, Big Baby and BB, oh yeah, I'm like more than halfway of finishing designing the cards, and they're gonna be in production. Shit, but I'm shooting by. I'm shooting for by my birthday, and that's on the 27th of this month. Happy birthday, Aries and eight, um, Taurus. Happy birthday to everybody who has one in the month of April. Boom. Hey, that was that was that hey, that was somebody confirmation. Scared shit out of me. That was my neighbor over there. They've been bumping all night. Like y'all fighting or fucking. I don't know. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the collective? Oh. Oh, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. They just threw those out. <sighs> Collector, please know that they spying on you. Who? Third party karmic. So for some of you guys, your person, hey, they fucking with a the third party. That's a karmic. 
Mm. We have December. That could be significant. They could be um starting to spy on you in December. Yep, they stepped out on you in December. Yep, some of you guys, your, your, your person stepped out on you in December a year ago. For some of you guys, um, December made a year that your person stepped out of the connection. An auntie could be involved and an uncle. So an auntie and an uncle could be involved. We have LGBT community. And then we have pick me. And then we have say it. So for some of you guys, your person could be dealing with a pick me that is a part of the LBGT community. Or this is your person. They finally did it is what I heard. They finally stepped out on you with somebody that's a part of this LBGT community. That's how come this third party is a fucking karmic. Mm -hmm. What's up under there? Because the spell work. They got seduced. Okay. I heard for some of you guys, um, your person, they, they it was their first time experiencing the LBGT community. This pick me is spying on you, collective. Yeah. Wow. And they said some of them could have been spying on you for a year. Some of them could be trying to do this spell work on you for a year. This third party karmic. Huh. They auntie or uncle could have picked this person or encouraged your person to pick this person that they stepped out with. Damn. I, I, that's the advice. Yeah, they uncle, either your uncle, his auntie, his auntie, your uncle, or both your uncle and auntie, or both his uncle, or your person's uncle and auntie. They, they have something to do with this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, they got something to do with this. We have seven years. You could have been with your person seven years. This is for some of you guys. Okay, well, shit, what, what's, what's the, now, now you want me to get an outcome. Okay, here we go. May. All right, we have nephew at the bottom of the deck, TikTok. Um, so that could be significant. Time running out. Time's up in May. With the auntie and uncle nephew. So your person, could, your masculine, yeah. Time's time's up in May for this nephew. Tick tock. Time is ticking down. And they can't leave. They can't leave this third party karmic. Because time has ran out. Something like that. Okay, what can you tell me about May? Let's see. So we have May and December here. So one of these uncles' birthday could be in December, the other one in May. That's what I'm getting to. And then we have the niece, the whole damn family here. So we have niece, nephew, aunt and uncle. Something to do with a car, a car and gas station. So somebody could have been, somebody could have picked up this person at a car or gas station two years ago. So they could have met this third party karmic at a gas station two years ago while they was filling up their car. Could have been in December or May. It could have been while they was with their auntie or uncle, niece and nephew. Or they had those people in the car with them when they met this person. Damn, okay, well, What's this? We have apartment. So we have nephew apartment. Some of them could have been meeting up with this third party at a nephew's apartment. Child, let's get a couple of more and then I'm going to shut it down. So um, just know, so this feels like more of a, uh, 
a, a heads up than a advice. Yeah, you could have been with your person seven years. Okay, you could have met them 20 years ago. And y'all was together for seven. That's what I'm getting for some of you guys. Uh-huh. Yeah, your person could have brown eyes or this third party. Brown hazel eyes, so their eyes could change. Okay, so um, these people have different eye colors. Or, oh, for some of you guys, your person could have change in eye color from green to, ha to hazel to brown. Okay, or the aunt and uncle got green and hazel eyes or brown and hazel eyes and this karmic got green eyes. Okay, but it's it, they all got different eye colors. The 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 the, the nieces, the nephew, the aunt, the auntie, the, the 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 third party. But it's making me feel like your person eyes change color, if not yours, okay? All right, the well, shit. Okay. Well damn. I don't want to leave it on that note because that's like, what, what more bullshit do we need to know? But this is how come you can't, some of you always don't even give a fuck. You do not give a fuck. You came out as the Empress top twice. Um, so, uh, you don't, you don't care. You don't care. So let's get it. Um, shit. What's coming in for the collective? Uh -huh, I picked up the deck success. Mm. I mean, you know, because you manifest anything you want. So what um, can the collective expect for them to come their way? What what do you have? Let's see. Mm. Ah. Let's see. What's this? Opportunity to release. <laughs> it's almost like night and day. Opportunity to release in the uh, last quarter moon for some of you guys. Somebody got a head that is shaped that is shaped like uh Mac tonight. Y'all remember Mac tonight? Uh oh oh, am I telling my age? I guess I am because I'm 45. Boo yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, look it. Mac tonight is that Jay Leno ass head. You know, big forehead, big long ass chin. Yep, some of them. They, yep, either they third party have a big ass head, Mac tonight ass head, or your person do. Or one of these aunties and uncle do. Look, if the niece, auntie, the nephew, or the uncle, or your person or the third party have a Mac tonight ass head, yep, this is your reading. And you have the opportunity to release all this shit. Mm. The opportunity is here. Yep, gate. Gate, wait, open. <sighs> Tell you, I just need them to confirm what I say. But you know, you went through a lot. It took a lot for you to, to 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 get to this point, you know, because when you love somebody, you love covers a multitude of sins, lies, deception, deceit. They do. It took your power back. We have wonders, transformation. Somebody could be wondering how things changed, <laughs> wondering why you changed is what I heard. Yep, because you have inner peace. You got a unicorn. Somebody could love butterflies, amethyst. Um, if you if you have amethyst, put it in your bra. Or if you're a man, um, put it somewhere, uh, like in your pocket or something like that. But as women, we could put it in our bra so we can have that skin to skin contact. Or get you a bracelet that has um, amethyst in it, okay? Um, but yeah, you have inner peace and protection. And a lot of you guys, your inner peace is protected. By the Most High God, by, by Archangel Michael, by Christ himself, by you. Wow. And you're on a voyage to enlightenment. I told you. You on this. It's here. You're being carried. You're being guided towards enlightenment. Enlightenment of self, enlightenment of spirituality, enlightenment of 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 um shit opportunities, things that needed to change, things that needed to be released, things that needed to be be protected. A lot of knowledge is here. A lot of knowledge is here. Spiritual knowledge is here. You've been taken away. Look, you another timeline. Elevation. You coming up out of these murky waters, being put put somewhere else. And look it, you see these wonders. Isn't it a wonder how this 
uh, uh, what is this? A uh, uh, humpback hell? Humpback hell. Humpback whale? Could even fly out of the waters? Karen, they baby. This feels more like a, uh, a, a, a ancestor spirit guy or a, a ascended master that, you know, they, you had, they had to take you up out of this. They had to take you up out of these murky waters. Waters represent emotion. Um, sensitivity. It, it, it represents um, uh, uh, cleaning, cleanliness and pureness, but they murky. So the, the pure, clean love that you have for your person, they fucked it up because they, they, they didn't cherish it. They didn't love it. They abused it. And so you had to get carried up out of it. And look at you. Because you, you're so delightful. I heard delight in the Lord. And abundance, baby. Delight because you have abundance. You have uh, abundance of wisdom. Money, love, health, wealth, cars, houses, shooting, charities, businesses, missions, and purpose. <laughs> I'm going to leave it right there, collective. This is what I have for you. If any of these messages resonated, please let me know in the comments because this reading, it was different, but I wasn't, I, I mean, I was connecting to it, but I just, I, it wasn't, it was kind of like all over the place, but those are the ones that usually be the good ones that a lot of people get a lot of information and insight out of, but I know you are high ranking and you smell good too. Mm-hmm. And your divine masculine is coming in too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. I smell them. Ah, that's that smell good. Ah, um, yep. It, they're coming in. Let me see. Let me see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Is the collective um, divine person, it, are they on their way in? Is the collective divine person, are they? <laughs> good. Have patience. Yep. They coming. <laughs> but let's see. That was already turned over, but you know, maybe turning them over is different. Ah! Oh, no. Have patience. Okay, so they're not coming in yet. Have patience. They're on the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, they're not. They're 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 not here. Have patience. They're on their way. So, you know, it could be a year from now. Because I do have that on the table. It could be a year from now before you um come into union or even meet your um your um, kingdom husband or divine counterpart but um yep not yet see what i mean so they they preparing your person for you Male, divine feminine or masculine but um y'all will be together or you will meet a year from now okay i heard up to a year from now okay yeah up to a year from now that's the only time i got on the table so yeah they could have brown hazel or green eyes okay all right, my love, this is what I have. Please put those comments in the comment box. Um, check out the description box if you want to book a reading with me. I only do my readings through FaceTime on IG. That works best for me. It works best for everybody else. So go on over there and follow me um, on IG at divinely underscore true underscore tarot. And I hope to see you soon. All right. Bye, baby.